Hi everyone, Robert Stewart here from Survival Central. Uh, today I'm going to answer a question that's been asked a lot of me as of late within the last uh, two, three weeks. I've been getting a number of emails, uh, a lot of phone calls about uh, the distribution of potassium iodide pills uh, uh, by the City of Toronto as well as Hydro One. Uh, they're uh, distributing uh, potassium iodide pills or KI pills uh, to the houses that 20 to 30 kilometers uh, radius of a uh, nuclear power plant. Uh, here where I'm at, uh, we have two nuclear power plants. Uh, we have Pickering to the west, and I've got uh, Darlington to the east. So I'm right smack dab in the middle of a hot zone. Now, um, they haven't always distributed the pills. It's the first time they're doing a mass distribution. I've always had potassium iodide pills uh, for the last 15 years since I've been a prepper. Uh, living in the area that I am, it just makes sense. Um, now a lot of people are panicking going okay is there going to be a meltdown uh is there, is there going to be incident uh, conspiracy theories uh people are getting really worried i, I think uh, the reason why they're doing it is it makes more sense to mass distribute to the houses uh, that would be most affected uh, by a nuclear incident if it were ever to happen it just doesn't make sense for them to stockpile it in one spot and then have everybody uh, come and pick up their potassium after the fact that the event uh, has already taken place. Uh, time is of the essence that if this event were to happen, that you take the potassium iodide uh, as, as soon as you can after the incident to protect your thyroid against uh, radioactive iodine. Now, the dosage um, uh, for adults is 130, uh, 130 uh, milligrams, which uh, come in all they usually come in a package like this. The one that they're sending around is in a blue package. Uh, it's in a blister pack uh, when you open it up. There you got individual little tablets like so. Um, one pill is good for one dose for one adult uh, for a day. So these tablets are 130 milligrams. Now for a child under uh, the age of, uh, I believe it's 12, they have it uh, broken in half. So they take a 65 milligram dose. So it's, it's very easy to administer uh, and it, all it does is fills up your, your thyroid with uh, non-radioactive stable iodine. Uh, it fills it up so much that it, your th thyroid can't absorb any more iodine. So thusly, it will not absorb any of the radioactive iodine. Now, this is not a magic uh, pill, this is not a magic bullet. Uh, this, uh, this medication or this medicine that you take during an event will not help you from other types of radiation sickness. It is only to protect your thyroid. So uh, what you're gonna wanna do is leave the area as soon as you can, but it will help you uh, from getting thyroid cancer and it is the most sensitive uh, organ that can be affected by a nuclear uh, uh, event. Uh, the whole idea is to take the potassium iodide, get it in your system and get out of the area. So um, this is why they're distributing it. So what do you do if you live outside the nuclear hot zone when uh, you don't live within the 30 to uh, the 20 to 30 kilometer range of a nuclear uh, plant and you want to protect yourself? Where can you get uh, potassium iodide? Well, you can get it at survivalcentral.ca. You've got these on the website. Uh, there's 14 uh, tablets in here for about $17. Uh, you can go to other uh, websites. They also carry them. There's uh, a lot of other survival uh, prepping websites that carry uh, potassium iodide. But also what you can do is go to your pharmacy or your uh, the first aid uh, section within your pharmacy and pick this up. Uh, it is iodine tincture. Now, this stuff is awesome. Now, you should have it regardless, uh, not only for scrapes and cuts, but you can uh, uh, sanitize your water with this so you can make your uh, water safe to drink. It will uh, help uh, with that. But not only that, in case of a nuclear event, this is actually potassium iodine. So it's basically the same thing, except for it's in liquid format instead of tablet format. And this 25 milliliter bottle has uh, 25 uh, milligrams of um, potassium iodide per milliliter. So for an adult, uh, you're looking at uh, the tablets are 130 milligrams uh, per tablet for an adult dose. Uh, you would take five milliliters of this uh, potassium uh, 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 the potassium iodide or the iodide tincture, you take uh, five milliliters of that. For a child, uh, three milliliters. So it, it's a great thing to have. Now, shelf life on these go anywhere between uh, three to five years. So, but it's a great thing to have in your bug out bag. It's a great thing to have on your uh, store shelves uh, down in your basement in case of an emergency in your first aid kit. 
Uh, it is an amazing uh, uh, product, multi, multi use. And I have it, and uh, you should get it too. So I hope I've answered all your questions and I've alleviated some of the stress behind what's going on with uh, potassium iodine distribution within Southern Ontario and uh, in general. Uh, and I hope I've answered all your questions. If not, get in touch with me at info at survivalcentral.ca or give us a call at 844-773-7123. So till next time, this is Robert Studer from Survival Central. Thank you for watching.